Hi, I'm Jess, your scientist for today. I'm a scientist from Cork, where I studied nutrition and food science in the Cork Institute of Technology. I've helped out with STEAM education before, teaching science the sixth class, and I really, really enjoyed it. So hopefully I can help teach you some new science facts today. We've been hearing a lot about the coronavirus for the last few months. But what is a virus anyway? A virus is an infectious particle that hijacks cell machinery to make lots and lots of copies of itself. There are different parts to a virus, as you can see in the picture in the first slide. First is a nucleic acid genome, which has the instructions for new copies. Next, the capsid, which protects the instructions. Finally, the envelope, which contains the key for the virus to enter cells. There are many different types of viruses. These include helical, polyhedral, spherical and complex. Viruses can be extremely small. To make a comparison, a red blood cell is 2,500 nanometers, whereas a bacteriophage called M52 is only 24 nanometers, which is a lot smaller. Different viruses can infect humans, as you know. A popular one you may have heard of is the influenza virus, which is also known as the flu. Here is a picture of the influenza virus, also showing its different parts. In the bottom right hand corner of the picture, you can see a real life picture of the influenza virus. Next, we have the Ebola virus. Similar to before, you can see how it really looks in the bottom right hand of the corner. The next virus is one we've all definitely heard about the coronavirus. The diagram on the top shows the many different parts of the coronavirus and in the bottom right hand corner a picture of the coronavirus in real life can be seen. By social distancing and washing our hands we are all protecting ourselves from this virus and making sure it stays away from us, our family and our friends. Now is the interactive part of this learning. So we are going to make our very own virus using some play-doh First, we are going to make the lipid envelope by rolling out some Play-Doh so it's opened out and wide. This is the part of the virus which contains keys to help it enter other cells. Next, we will make the protein coat by rolling some Play-Doh into balls to make an outer wall protecting the DNA and RNA of the virus. Now, we just need to add the reverse transcriptase DNA or RNA to the core of the virus. DNA and RNA are usually helical in shape, so we can make a spiral out of Play-Doh for this. Finally, we can add the outer layer of the protein to the envelope. These proteins can help the virus to enter other cells. To make these, simply add a ball of Play-Doh to a pipe cleaner or cotton bud. The next slide will show you some examples of viruses made from Play-Doh and feel free to get creative and give them a go. There are also some useful links on the last